Manuel, can you tell us what we're seeing here from Fanat at Emo? Yeah, I'm happy to introduce you our brand new LR10 robot. So it's brand new developed. It's a more or less a new successor of already a well-established LRMate series. And, and what's it, different? What's better about this model? Yeah, it has a bigger reach and a higher payload. It's actually up to 10 kilograms here, what we're seeing behind me. And that's pretty nice, for, especially for machine tool tending okay. applications. Okay, what, what was it before then? How much has it increased by? It was increased by 3 kilograms, so the previous ones had 7 kilograms and the reach was increased by 200 millimeters here. Okay, now it's only 49 kilograms as well, isn't it? The whole unit, yes. so it's quite easy to, I'm not suggesting you'd be moving it around a lot, but it is easy to handle. It's very easy to handle and it's actually best in class here. Okay, and how, how, does it, how easy is it to interface to a machine like we've got here? What's the integration like? I mean, there is, there is lots of different possibilities, but one of the easiest one is definitely our integrated QSSR package. When you connect it to our Fanox CNC, where you have all that ready to use functions out of the box. Okay, and, and where would you see it fitting? We can see it here uh, on a robo drill, but what's your market for this product? I would say the, the biggest market is definitely the machine tool tending market, but there's also other applications like sanding, polishing, or inspection applications. So it's a really, really broad range there. Now it's not the only robot you've got here at the show this week. What are other, some, the, some of the other highlights that you can tell us? There's actually one real big highlight as well. So we introduce here our 1,000 kilo robot. It's a one ton robot, a brand new model as well. Okay, now that's lifting a, uh, a battery, isn't it, off a right. car? Because one of your focuses here at the show is electric vehicles, isn't it? Is that, some, is that a big area that you think your robotics will play a part in going forward? That's what we are actually seeing, right, yeah. So it's a, it's a real emerging market and there's a big need of robots, especially for big ones. You know, all those batteries, those bulky parts, handling, and uh, that's the, the right solution for that as well, yeah. Now, a few years ago, we saw what was one of the largest robots in the world uh, on one of your stands. How does this new robot compare to that? What are the differences? I mean, it's actually filling the gap between our previous series, the up to 700 kilograms, our M900 series, and the M2000 series, starting from 1.2 tons up to 2.3, and it's right filling the gap with one ton payload there. Other than these two then, what else are we seeing here from Fanuc? Because it's not just that, is it, on robotics. Things are moving everywhere on this stand, aren't they? Oh yeah. It's a big part of what your show's about. Yeah, yeah we are also proud and happy to show our new CRX series. I mean, it's already introduced a couple of months to the market, but you know, the, the cobot market is also a really, really emerging market, and we are happy to show several uh, cobots here with our CRX. So what would be the fundamental difference between the CRX, for example, and what we see here? on this robot, this industrial robot? I mean, the main difference for sure is that it's a real collaborative robot and it has a brand new interface. It has an easy, intuitive um, drag and drop programming method. And uh, well, we can see here, it is a different one. It's our standard programming language. And when you look at some of your robots, they're the fastest in the world, aren't they? Some the, the speed some of these move. We also have uh, the Delta Kinematics robots here. It's, it's way the fastest ones we have, and the Skaros, of course. Uh, the show itself here, just tell us about the three focuses. We talked about electric vehicles. What are the others that your robots are, uh, are showcasing here? What other areas? Of course, machine tool tending is, is a, a real big, and all other you know, related applications to, to producing, to machining, like inspection, like sanding, like polishing. So there's such a wide field of, of applications. How many robots have you got here? Manuel? On the stand? Oh, I'm, I'm over asked. Yeah. Dozens. Yeah, <laughs> quite, quite a lot. <laughs> but I heard we have, we have waited the most uh, on, the, on the whole show.